Today we're out fishing the Umpqua River for winter steelhead with Kyle Bushelman of Willamette Valley Outfitters. And uh, we're going to be side drifting Steelhead Stalker's UV yarn uh, by itself and also with eggs. We're fishing out of a 17 foot Kabaddi marine drift boat. Pretty awesome for side drifting here on the Umpqua River. Uh, that didn't take long. So this is uh, one of the rigs we're using today. We got a little bit of eggs, some of our yarn. That's a shrimp pink, uh, uh, sand shrimp color, and then a little puff ball. This is a gigantic uh, high water ball. It's about the size of a silver dollar or bigger. Uh, we get them on that, and then uh, Kyle's got good, real good color here, just regular size uh, yarn balls. Um, Yes, Cerise and White, Steelhead Stalkers. We're getting them pretty good today. Wow. Chad is hooked up in the high water ball. <laughs> Come on. video too on how to make these big yarn balls like this. Call them stealth yarn balls or big they cover the big whole poppy. Yeah, big, <laughs> they cover the whole hook and they float. Apparently they work. They do. I mean we went through with a couple different things and then that one hooked up so yeah. Upstream. Yeah. <laughs> so strong. Where you can land that so we can get another one, Sean. I think I tied up five of each color, so. <laughs> I got up the other one. Oh, did it? Okay. Well, that's fine. 
There. <laughs> nice big yarn ball. Half a bag of yarn. <laughs> it's the only way to roll. 741. Whoops, I'm only a seven foot four rod. There we go. Beautiful. I'm glad. Nice fish. Yeah. All right, let it. Perfect. Awesome. Good job, Chad. Come on. Shrimp pink cerise. That was gonna double there for a second. It it did that hesitation and dip. I was thinking, this is gonna be fun. Kale's gonna row in video <laughs> at the same time. Did you just saw bait on there? Yeah. I just had skin that was all left in. It's amazing how much presentation is just a little different angle. Yeah. Little Cromer. What pound leader are you running, Kyle? What's that? What pound leader are you running? Black and white one. Yeah. Nice job. Four wheels, man, no bind, just get hammered. That's a fish. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> I, people, I don't know. people think it was going to blow out? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Good job. Like that's, it. That's like a Sasquatch on the Umpqua. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a little hatchery. Yeah. Good. Take it. Let's get that hatchery. Oh. That is just uh, shrimp pink and cerise uh, steel and stalker's yarn. <laughs> and a big fish. Oh no, it's not as big as that one. Days you're glad you're here. Yeah, I, I think man. too many people are questioning the rain. Look at the boat ramp, there's only three of us. It's great, man. The uh, Edge Rods 741HM, they're the special little side drifters Gary Loomis designed for fishing. Light line all the way up to heavy line. You notice the butt on these rods is huge, so you can really, uh, it's got a lot of backbone. You can move some big fish, so. They were a perfect rod for fishing these larger native fish on the Umpqua River where you can fight them quickly and control the fish and get yeah, them back in the water safe. You know? Yep. No doubt about it. No, oh, that's an edge rod, 741. Coolest side ducking rod on the planet. Show that yarn ball in its mouth. Yeah. 
There you go. Trim ink, three yep. shot. A couple eggs on that one, just yarn. Yep. Chad with a little coaching is hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> Even a beginner gets lucky. Unless, yeah. This doesn't feel like a bad fish. No, it looks like it's got some real head shakes going on there. Oh yeah, nice oh, yeah. fish. Boy, well, I'm a Fally Outfitters. <laughs> I want to catch some fish. Yeah. Come on. a little different if he was Yeah, I mean this fish doesn't do anything. It's like he doesn't even know he's hooked. Yeah, I better go work him now. We'll get a little serious about this fish. I have a feeling we have a real fish in here, boys. Hey, you just hooked another one. Oh, yeah, tail. yeah, I could have done my usual flossing technique. Tail hook. Yeah. Well, that fish is solid. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not doing the fast. I don't know what to do with it really, if I should try to pull it this way or... Yeah, we got, we're in good water, it'll, it'll tire. I'll wake him up here. Come here, piggy. He's out there. Yeah. Come here, piggy. Well, that's He's a big thick. fish. He's thick. <laughs> <laughs> he's like this tall. <laughs> yeah, he's not that long, but he's a foot thick. Good. That's how the Oregon fish look 20. Yeah. We got him in girth, not length. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. I mean, these fish are shoulder heavy. Up there in Washington, they're huge fish, but our fish tend to have a little more girth to them. Some of these big sponsors. Great fish. Nice fish. Let's get it back in there. You guys using those rods that you make too? Uh, these are actually edge rods, but it's the same company, North Fork Composites. Yeah, I'm in the mouth. Oh. 
him sideways there. He gives you a little weight. <laughs> the yarn came out. Did it come out right there? Yeah. Oh, Great fish. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Ram the Valley Outfitters are hammering the fish today. Got that prey bill uh, conservation series net, so all these wild fish uh, doesn't remove any scales or slime. Pretty big flash over there. Chad is. Boy, that fish is heavy. Yeah, it is. Chad's got the 46 inch on now. <laughs> yeah. That reel, you can tell it's got hardly any line on it. Yeah. I really want a big, big fish, man. It's been a while since. That was on the white with the cerise. Mostly. White with the cerise eye? Yeah, they're a little bit old. God, that fish is fighting nice. Oh, it'd be a pig, man. I saw it roll out there. It looked like it had some size to it. You know, the way it took it, you know, a lot of times with big fish, you don't even know you have them hooked. You just sit down there. Oh, it's a six pounder. Yeah. That's a little guy? Oh, no. <laughs> I just like making my chat and just fighting fish. That's a heavy yeah, fish. Yeah, this is a good fish. Just take your time on that one. When you lift up and it's like... Yeah, he weighs swollen. Oh. He's got some weight to it. We get over here in the pond and help us out. Yeah. Last time we had a huge, a huge fish and turn it. Look at that yeah, rod. I've been. Well, I'm using this 10 pound and 10 pound. That's been my game plan. But I may consider going to 8 pound of that stuff you're using. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice. That's mid 30s. Very fishy. Fish. I'm gonna work over this way, and uh, we'll get out and get a nice photo of them. Sure rally it, that's for sure. <laughs> I didn't reel in for once. <laughs> there he is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice one there. Stay on top of that guy a little bit. It's coming at you. Swim over to us, buddy. He came up quick, didn't he? Yeah. That looks like a Chinook out there. Does it? Oh, it's hard to tell, but it sure looks like a, That's a big fish. nice fish. Oh boy! That's a nice steelhead. Got some UV yarn stuck in his beak. Just like you like it. Strong. Ooh, Ooh, man. Baby. Awesome.
So there we go. Awesome. Port River, Willamette Valley Outfitters. Great fish. Long steelhead right yeah, there. Yeah, let's get it back in. Yeah, nice job on the fight too. Good fit up. Oh, yeah, wow. angry. Took off. Come on. That's wow. awesome. Good job, Jeff. Thanks. Happy fish. See that little dorsal wall? Shave down. <laughs> <laughs> like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Get them in quick, get them in the net, and swim away fast. Yep. Awesome. 18. <laughs> What's that? 18. 18. 18 in the boat? Yeah. yeah.